Our embassy has been seized. Six of the hostages got out. They're hiding out in Tehran. Why else? Who wants the six of them out? You have a plan. We need to pretend to be a movie crew. Tell me who you are. Mike McEwen, cameraman. Robert Baker, director. Timothy Harris, location manager. Marianne Boyd, screenwriter. Rachel DeWart, production designer. Michelle Massad, associate producer. All right, let's go make a movie. I approached it was to say, look, everything's just got to be real. By pushing and by holding ourselves to that standard, I think we got to something that we were all much happier with at the end. It was very unusual what Ben had us do to prepare for this movie. So here's the way that this, that this is going to work. I wanted the house guests to live together, and I wanted them to live together as close to what it would be when they were there. One of the things I kept thinking about while we were in the house was the energy it takes 24 hours a day to negotiate the social relationships of people for people who are confined for months at a time. I went outside for 30 seconds, all right? Could you give me a break? I can't breathe in this house. Bob, it only takes one second for them to spot you. And when it came to shoot, we just had a shorthand. We just became a, a team, and it was a lot of fun. We don't know what the hell movie people do. That's why I'm here. I'm gonna help you. I'll be with you the whole way. This is what I do. Have you gotten people out this way before? This would be a first. I think the fact that we were able to get such great actors it just reflects on the story, the script. They told me Alan Arkin was on it, which was a bonus for me because he's one of my heroes. I can't say enough about him, and I won't. Don't ever tell him I said anything nice about him. He is incredibly easygoing and, and, and loose, and he's a lot of fun. How about the horses of Achilles? No good. Nobody does westerns anymore. It doesn't matter. It's a fake movie. If I'm doing a fake movie, it's going to be a fake hit. Jack O'Donnell was hard to cast. This was the person that I was going to be tethered to and having the strongest relationship with. And Brian, as you know, has got a full dance card these days. But we moved stuff around and kind of just did whatever we had to do to get him because we just felt he was so good. Ergo, or Argo, the challenge of directing is by itself daunting. It really is. He handles it very well, and he's, his temperament is great. People have no idea how hard it is to do both, to direct yourself and direct a movie of the scope and the size of Argo and the town, and to handle the other actors. And when I'm on set, he just seems to do it with ease. So guys, uh, house guests, can you, uh, can you guys step on to your insurance, please? The way Ben works is a total delight for actors. He likes to set up improvs and scenarios where you don't have to do a lot of acting. You can just be. It's interesting to watch him go back and forth. He knows exactly what he's doing. He'll come up with great acting ideas that I didn't think of. He's a really, really good, careful, meticulous director. Ben is, is going to do some major work. The crowd's going to see that he gets blindfolded as a symbol. One of the other things about being director and actor is the research you do as a director is like the ideal research you would want to do as an actor. So you're already completely saturated in the movie and the character and all the information. My name is Tony Mendez. This is what I do. I get people out, and I've never left anyone behind. I think nowadays when you're making a film, especially a drama, I think you have to stick to the facts as much as possible. You have to bring people into that world. Ben has a great eye for that. We're responsible for these people. I'm responsible. I'm taking them through. It's about normal people facing fear. If they stay here, they will be taken. Probably not alive. And that there is heroism and patriotism in that. It's over, Tony. I'm gonna get you home.